Yo, man. Yo. Open up, man. Yo, what you want, man? My girl just caught me. You made her catch you? I don't know how I let this happen. But who? The girl next door, you know? Uh, I don't know what to do. So it wasn't you. Alright. Honey came in and she got me red-handed. Creepy with the girl next door. Hi guys, Did welcome back we to my channel. On today's video, we have a makeup tutorial on this look that I have right here. I am absolutely obsessed with the way that it came out. And the big star of the show is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And look at how dope this packaging is. Like, oh my god, it's to literally die for. And this is what it looks like when you open it. So pretty. These shades are amazing amazing the formula everything you can create so many looks with this palette and it comes with a huge mirror and it's just I am so obsessed so obsessed obviously I've already done my face and I can tell you right now this palette is insane the quality of it is incredible um, they're nice and powdery shadows they do not have a lot of fallout at all it is awesome best formula that I've seen for a while and it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful so if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching so I'm gonna start with my skincare and I do this always before I apply my makeup um, I always start with washing my face, so I've already done that, but I'm going to go in with the face moisturizer that I use, which is this Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. I don't have one ounce of anything on my face right now, except for chapstick, because <laughs> my um, lips are so bad, so don't even mind how I look right now. This is just my natural self. It is what it is. I don't even... I don't care. <laughs> okay. So now that I did that, I go in with my primer. And the primer that I've been using, I have a million of these, like literally a million sitting around my room. And I've been using this pretty much all year. Um, it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And they're little samples, but they last forever. Like one has lasted me like two months or something crazy. And I use it every day. So I'm just going to continue to use these. Smashbox is cruelty free, which is awesome. Um, all of these products that I'm using today are cruelty free. So that's good. So I'm just going to squeeze it on my finger. And it comes out like a, kind of like a gel-like substance. Um, it almost feels like a like a, this is gonna sound so weird, but like a wart treatment or something, or like a, <laughs> that's so like not a good description at all. But it feels like Neosporin or something like that. But it doesn't make your face like shiny or anything, it just completely makes it a smooth finish. This is definitely a smoothing primer, um, whereas something like the too Faced RX Primer, Hangover Primer, is more for moisturizing. So after I apply my primer, I go into my eyeshadow. Now, today I am going to be using a brand new palette, and I'm extra, extra excited about it. I have not even opened it yet. It is the... Voila! Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold Palette, and I got it for myself for Christmas. I am absolutely obsessed with the packaging. Like, how dope is that? It's so pretty, so shiny. It's just everything that I'm into. So let's open it. I am so excited. This is crazy. Oh my god. Look at how pretty that is. Like, look at the colors. Oh my goodness. So many different colors. So many cool things to work with. A huge mirror. Such a great palette. Oh my goodness. So, hmm. 
let me just think what type of look do I want to do today I want to do something very glam very um night outy like not something that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis um, but I want to do something creative fun and very glam so that's the look that I'm going for today let me just think about this all right, I'm going to go with this dark green in the corner here. So, so pretty. It's called Hala Feridala, and that's what I'm going to use on my lid. And then I'm just going to try to experiment from there. I'll probably do this in the crease and then the black in the um, outer corners. So we'll do kind of like a smoky eye type of thing. And this green has little gold specks of glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's super, super pretty. So excited. Let's get into it. So the brush I am using for this are the same brushes that I've been using literally forever. Um, this is a Sigma diffused crease brush, the E38 brush. It looks like this, so it's thicker on the end, um, perfect for just all over the crease for a transition shade or something like that. So for my transition shade, I'm going to go in with this brown right here. It's called So Bougie, and I'm just going to dab that in. Ooh, these are so fluffy. These eyeshadows are awesome, and I'm just going to do this perfect 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 transition shade I think I literally just found my my perfect match of all time literally just now <laughs> Wow so you're just gonna go this is your transition shade so you can go higher up um, closer to your brow bone but not all the way up because of course you want a brow bone highlight um, and then we're going to go in with the crease shade next. The crease shade you're going to want to do obviously closer to your crease. So you're going to want to get right in here. And I have the perfect brush for that. That would be this one right here. The, the Morphe M412 brush. And you can see how it's pointier than the other brush at the end. Makes it perfect, gets right in the crease on that. So for my crease, I'm gonna go in with this um, Cocoa Truffle shade right here. A couple dabs of that, and we'll go right into the crease. Very, very, very pretty color. Perfect. These shades blend so well together. And then the next eye. Right in that crease. And I'm just looking in the Too Faced mirror um, right in front of me so that I can see. Okay, so that's the crease. For my all over um, shadow color, shadow brush, I'm using this Tarte one that came in a limited edition set that I got a long time ago. Um, it's just a regular um, all over shadow brush <sighs> nothing special at all so I'm gonna go in to this dark green shade called Hala for a dollar give it a couple of pats I'm gonna see if this applies better with a brush or with the finger I have a feeling it's gonna apply better with a finger let's see yeah so you're probably going to want to apply this with your finger. So I'll just swipe it. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So gorgeous. This has dark green with gold uh, 
sparkles in it and it's so pretty so i'll put this on the lid oh yeah that applies so so much better with your finger it's so pretty and don't worry about the gap in between your crease because we're going to blend this out. And just keep layering it until you get to the um, amount of darkness that you want. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. All right, and there's like no fallout. It's awesome. These eyeshadows are such high quality eyeshadows. No glitter fallout whatsoever on my face. It's great. So now I'm going to darken this look up and make it really smoky. And for that, I am going to go in with this shade again, just to darken it, darken up the crease. So that's Cocoa Truffle. And I'm going to take the same um, Morphe brush I used earlier with the pointed end, the M412, and I'm just going to darken up my crease. All right, and now we are going to go in with our black color. And for this, I'm going to use a different brush. I am going to use a rounded brush, the Sigma Domed Utility Brush. It's the E34, and it's round like this. I definitely have to clean this brush at some point, but there's nothing coming off right now. Um, it is a rounded end of a brush like this, and it's smaller. So that's the brush that we will be using for the black shade, which looks very black. I am very excited about it. It's called Decadent. So I'm just going to do a very light dab of that because black is very hard to work with. You have to be extremely careful when you're working with black. So I'm just going to dab this on the edge of my eye, just like that. Little goes a long way with black, for sure. And I'm just going to start dragging it out a little bit. And down. A little bit onto your lid. Like, you want this to kind of start to shape as a triangle. Kind of like an eyeliner wing. Think of it the same thing. And bring it onto the lid a little bit and back up. Like that. And don't worry if it's uneven. We will fix this and make this line very sharp at the very end. For now, just worry about blending. And I'm going to dip back into that black. And this is a complete matte black, by the way. There are no glitters in this. You don't want to work with a glittery um, black if you're working on your outer corners ever. It'll look a little strange. You always want to work with matte. So I'm just going to keep darkening this up until it gets really smoky how I want it. And then I'm going to move on to the other eye. And I'm going to leave that as it is right now. I know it looks insane, but don't worry. It won't look like that. All right, and that's pretty much even. So we'll leave like that like that for now. And I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M412 brush. And I'm going to go back into the Cocoa Truffle that we used in the crease. And I'm just going to blend it. Just darken it a little bit here. Okay, and now I'm just going to wipe off my brush so that there's absolutely nothing on it. And I'm going to start blending everything together. Starting down low, bringing the black up. And just bringing everything together. You want the black to kind of fade out. You don't want it to just be... Um, you don't want it to just be like, bam, there's black. You want it to blend together. That's why I'm kind of 
going up like this instead of down. And blending takes a long time. It really, really does. You gotta work at it. It's not, um, it's a little tedious thing for sure. That's blending nicely. You always want to make it so that you can see your uh, crease color above that outer corner color. Excellent. Excellent. Now I'm going to go back in with that original uh, brush I had, the Sigma E38 brush, this one the one that I started with, and just blend. This is a, br a, a thicker brush, so it's gonna blend a uh, larger amount of product over. And I'm gonna start with the outer corner and just bring it up. And just blend lightly, just like this. Until everything is blended together and it looks nice and smoky. So I'm gonna go in. Let's do it in the center here. It's where I want it to be the strongest. And voila. Back to how it was. Love this color. Love, love, love this color. And I bet if you put a I bet if you put like a setting spray on it, it would be even more metallic. Okay, so now I'm gonna start doing my eyeliner and everything will come together. It looks crazy right now, but everything will come together, <laughs> trust me. Once the eyeliner's on, you will see. So I'm gonna start with using the Kat Von D, my favorite. It's cruelty free and vegan um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black. Um, it is my ride or die eyeliner. It has a pointed end like this, extremely, extremely pointed, pointed so that you get a very, very precise um, application and wing, which is extremely important for me. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to start with lining my eyes. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting that space in between your eye and your eyelash so that it looks extra black because you know how sometimes when you apply eyeliner on the top there's a gap between your eyelashes and where you put the eyeliner. That's because you're not doing this. You have to get right, right next to your eye. Like literally touch your eye. It's so weird to be filming this as a lefty because I, I'm like holding a mirror on the right side and doing this with my left hand. It's so weird. All right, so now I'm going to do my wing. I'm going to start like this, and yes, I do pull up my eyelids. It's just a habit and how I do it. Sorry, I don't want to block you. To start. start on the wing so for the wing I start here and I go up towards the end of my brow bone 
and then I just connect the lines. With this look, I want an intense wing because it's a smoky eye. So we did a large wing there and then we just connect it all. Make sure everything's even. Like that. And now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so my eyeliner is done on both sides. I'll close my eyes. And now I'm just gonna, going to apply my mascara. And for mascara, I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is my all-time favorite mascara. It has been for a couple years now, and I still don't think that I will ever use another mascara ever again. It is cruelty-free and vegan, which is amazing as well. Um, best mascara I have ever used in my life, though, hands down. You guys know how I apply my mascara. And I have very long lashes to begin with. So, um, a lot of people ask me if I'm wearing false lashes or if I have lash extensions. I do not. These are my natural lashes. Um, they are naturally very long. So, um, a lot of times people ask me what mascara I use, which is probably my most asked question. I always say, Too Faced Better Than Sex. And they're like, but you have long lashes anyways. And yes, I do. But the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is both volumizing and lengthening. So that is my number one thing. I would rather volume over length any day. Because yes, mine are very long. But I like mine to be very full. And this gives the effect that fake lashes give. When it comes to volume it is awesome and no I do not curl my lashes normally like ever um, but you can if you want to when I curl my lashes sometimes they look insanely long like in a bad way so I don't want to do that but I do curl them with the brush and it helps to point them up rather rather than um, just straight so that's a little tip, and it makes them look even longer. There is the mascara. You can see the difference between my eyes with this mascara on. Crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> okay, my mascara is applied, and you guys have seen me apply mascara a million times before, so I just did that. Um, and my lashes, yes, are extremely long. And yes, this mascara is absolutely everything. <laughs> um, I'll look down so that you guys can really see what it's like. All right, so the next step is going to be my foundation. And for foundation, I am using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the shade Ivory. If you can see that. This has been my go-to foundation for the past year definitely. And what I do is I just dab it on my finger. This is, this is a trick of making sure that you're not um, applying too much foundation to your face. You just dab an amount about that size. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, 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 two. It's just a little thing I have and the extra you could wipe on your chin. So from there, I am going to be using my foundation brush, which I need to clean so bad. It's actually disgusting. I can't believe I'm using this on camera right now. Um, but it's the Tarte brush that came in the same holiday limited edition kit um, as my all over shadow brush, my lid shadow. Um, so you can no longer buy this brush. Um, but they do have one that's very similar to it. 
So I'm just gonna go like this and blend it all over my face. I'm just gonna look in the mirror here so that I can see what I'm doing. And blend it under here, under your eye. And this is where you're gonna clean up that shadow. You wanna get right underneath that eyeliner wing so that you're getting rid of any shadow underneath that wing, like so. Um, as a girl, most girls get redness underneath their nose and around their nose. It's just part of the hormones. And you want to get right underneath your eye. And again, cleaning up that shadow underneath here, you're just going to swipe. And now you have a very thin layer of foundation so that it does not look cakey. And after that, I apply my concealer, the most important part for me <laughs> because of the redness on my face. So I'm going to go in with my concealer brush. I'm sorry, it's in the same, I'm sorry, but I use the same brushes all the time. And this is the another brush that came in that limited edition um, Tarte kit. I'm really sorry, so you can't buy it. Um, but it is my favorite concealer brush ever. And I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It has been my favorite concealer for the past year. Um, my favorite concealer was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. There is nothing wrong with that concealer. Um, I would st That was my favorite concealer of all time. But Tarte, um, but sorry. But NARS is no longer cruelty free and it's very sad very very sad because NARS was one of my favorite brands of all time um, so I had to look for a new concealer that did the same thing or close to the same thing and the Tarte Shape Tape concealer is so so good it um, is already one of the top concealers like out there in the world um, but it's definitely a perfect option for those of you who are also buying cruelty free and vegan and just want or just want a really really good concealer um, mine is in the shade light neutral and it's a little bit dark for me right now since it's winter time um, but they were out of the shade before this so I just got this because I was desperate <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply it underneath my eye like so just a couple of swipes. A lot, a little goes a long way with this concealer. I kind of form like a cross on my face. That's how I describe it. You only really want to get in the centers of your face with concealer because you don't want to look cakey. So I will go in and just blend this out with my concealer brush. This is so dirty too, I have to clean it so bad. And right up around your nose. Get rid of all that redness. Where would I be without concealer? <laughs> Honestly. And right underneath your eye gets rid of any dark circles or any redness and you can also clean up underneath your wing on this part too. This is usually where I do the cleanup with the eyeshadow. I bring it all the way up to here because I always have redness next to my eye too for some reason. And just blend, blend, blend. So see how sharp that is? so easy to clean after everything comes together in the end just always always remember that all right so we're blended and you can see how smooth everything looks it's great it's great i love this concealer 
So next I'm going to go in with my setting powder and I only use my setting powder where I concealed. That's it. And I'm going in with the RCMA No Color Powder, my favorite powder out there. Uh, weird packaging, but I just kind of tap it as I get it all over myself. And I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender, which also has to be cleaned desperately. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to kind of stick it in here, get some on here, and then dab it where I concealed. What this is going to do is this is going to set your makeup and set your concealer so that it doesn't move around and it's not sticky and it gives it such a flawless finish no lines on your face at all it just blends everything together I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm gonna bring it over my nose and up to where I concealed on my forehead just in the middle of it and just everywhere that I concealed my nose, my chin Okay, and that just smooths everything out to perfection. <laughs> to absolute perfection. Okay, after that, I go in with my waterline eyeliner. So for my waterline eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Essence Kajal pencil in 01 Black. I think it's called, I think you pronounce it Kajal. I'm not really sure though. I, I have no idea. I don't know. K-A-J-A-L pencil. Okay. So that's done. And then I'm going to go in with um, my lower lash line mascara. And I'm using this Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And Smashbox is also a cruelty free brand, which is awesome. And I'm just going to apply this. This works really well for the bottom lashes I've found. Better than sex, I don't use on my bottom lashes because I find that um, there's a lot of transfer. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. I just swipe underneath to make sure that it doesn't get stuck. Make a mess under there. Okay, so let me see what I want to do for my inner corners. Ooh, I'm thinking this, I'm thinking a silvery shade, but which one, top or bottom? I'm going to use the top one, and I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used earlier to use um, the black on the outer corner. I'm going to do this and use this silver on the inner corner and make sure that there's absolutely no black left on this brush, because that would not be good. <laughs> it would look like I had a black eye. So I'm going to go in with the shade Rich Girl. This one right here, extra, extra pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I'm going to tap my brush in and use this in the inner corner. Super pretty. Wow. So pretty. 
This goes so nicely with this green with the gold specks and then you get this um, silver inner corner. It is so pretty. Word. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And you know what? I'm going to add some to my, since it's a smoky eye, I'm going to add some to my bottom lash line. And what color do I want to do? I'm going to use this brush over here. It is the uh, Sigma Smudge Brush, the E21. So that's what I'll be using for underneath my eye. I'm just going to smoke it out a little. And I'm going to smoke it out with that brown that I used above in my crease make my eyes pop all right so that just made it a little bit darker super pretty Whew. okay moving on I'm gonna do my brows I am using the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm just gonna call these in. I really desperately need to get my eyebrows done. Like so bad. I think I'm gonna go do that now actually. <laughs> I can't even stand looking at them. For the Brow Bone Highlight, I'm going to use their Brow Bone Highlight shade, which is Rollin' in Dough. This one right here. See how this looks. And for this, I'm going to use that same brush I applied the um, Inner Corner Highlight with. Make sure that there's nothing on this brush at all. Ooh. So, so, so pretty. My goodness. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm officially obsessed with this palette. Okay, so we're officially done with the eyes. Now we can just move on to brown, bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then we are done. For bronzer, I am going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium slash deep. And this is what it looks like. Oops. It's my favorite bronzer of all time right now. Absolutely love it. And I'm just going to contour with it, and then I'm going to bronze with it. I use the same... Uh, contour shade that I bronze with which might seem a little bit strange to some of you but whatever and I'm using the wet n wild contour brush I am so obsessed with the wet n wild brushes I think that they are better than most high-end brushes and they're like two or three dollars um, so my my um, blush and contour brushes are both from wet n wild so the blush brush I'll be using with my brush, my blush, and I love both of them so much. So I'm just going to dip it into the bronzer and start contouring. And I'm going to look in my mirror while I do this. And I'll bring it up around my face, like so. so. This gives you a nice little tan, and it gives shape to your face. Makes your face appear thinner, which is always nice. Okay, and then we're going to go underneath the chin and the jawline to accentuate your jawline. Like so. 
And we are done with the contour. Now we're just gonna bronze. And for the bronzer brush, I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush, but it works amazing for blush. And I'm just gonna tap it in and go around my cheeks. And I go crazy here. I love bronzer. I love to have my face look tan. And I just do the same thing. I go all around my face. This brush is getting a wider amount of area though. And just blend. And I'm going to do the same down here. Don't forget to get your entire neck to blend everything together. For blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild blush in Apricot in the middle. My favorite one, I've literally hit pan on it, but it is like a peach blush, and I am so obsessed. I use this every single day. Every single day. Like, literally. I barely ever switch it up. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to highlighter. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with Wisp by ColourPop. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's gold. And I think it'll be perfect with this green gold eyeshadow. I think it'll be wicked pretty. So that's what I'm going to use for highlight. And I'm sorry, but I'm using a highlighter brush that's also from that Tarte limited edition kit. That was just such a good kit. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. And I'm just going to dip my brush in this a lot. Like a lot. highlighted my face. There we are. I also like to highlight my collarbone to kind of accentuate it. It's a little tip. This one. See how they kind of accentuate it? They, they turn shiny. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with setting spray, which is the last step, and I've never used this before. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. It's a little sample of it that I got when I bought a bunch of stuff, and I'm just going to spray this on my face and protect my hair. Mm. Smells good. And let that dry a little bit. Move this. I have specks on my face from it. They have to dry. I'm not the biggest fan of how it smells. Oh, why is it doing that? Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm never, ever using that again. Like, literally never using that again. Oh, can you see that? Oh my god, it just made my makeup so blotchy. Okay, highly do not recommend whatever this is. This is going in the trash. This Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray sucks. Ruined what I just did. Oh my god. Unbelievable. 
the joys of trying out new things. Sometimes they just do not work. Official last step is applying the lipstick. I'm going in with ColourPop's Beeper, my favorite shade. Okay, and that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I loved filming it for you guys. It's been forever since I filmed a makeup tutorial for you. Um, sorry about the difference in lighting. It went from like daytime to nighttime really quickly here. Um, and it got like wicked cloudy as well. So sorry if the lighting was like annoying to you guys. Um, but I love the way that this look came out. Absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. It's perfect for a night out. It's perfect for the fall. It's perfect for the winter. Um, I love the pairing of this lipstick with it. Uh, Smoky Eye calls for a bold lip as well, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys would like to see other tutorials in the future that are similar to this one. I would love to know your feedback and uh, let me know if you did enjoy this video in the comments. Um, I will be posting a favorite products of 2017 video coming very soon uh, because I did want to get that up for you guys. I know that I had a 2016 favorites video, uh, so I want to get my 2017 favorites in there because there's definitely some new ones. Um, some are the same, but there are a ton of new ones as well. So I'm just actually excited to get those up for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can never describe how grateful I am for each and every one of you for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, just everything you do for supporting me. I am so grateful and um, I'm, I've been feeling so inspired lately to be making new videos for my channel and for you guys and I'm just so excited for you guys to be on this journey with me. And um, yeah, so... That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.